Hey everybody, it's that day two of a cold where it's really settled in, but uh, we're going to keep pushing on here. Uh, neither rain nor sleep nor bacteriological inflammations and viruses. Um, tonight on October Country, a bit of a classic, but something that I do always find myself checking out this time of year. Uh, this is the moment that Steven Spielberg took a haunted house and planted in the middle of suburbia and challenged everybody to 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 be scared of something that was so normal. There's nothing creepy about this house. There's nothing. Uh, it's completely typical in every way, and and I think that's what makes this movie actually so scary. Is that it's it, it it's like it's not like there's no uh, physical sign or evidence or idea or history to this place that should warn you that it's a you know there's there's evil here um, or danger or whatever. Uh, it's a to it's a brand new house. It's a totally normal family. There's no there's no bad stories or anything like that. This is just uh, it you know it happens to be on a bad plot of land and, and that's it. Uh, uh, <clears throat> What a what a cool ass looking movie! Um, what a great advertisement for all of George Lucas's films <laughs> that he got out of this thing. But great moments, great lighting. Joe Beth Williams especially is just incredible. Uh, the lighting, just the idea, uh, the the minimalism of what they accomplished with some of the stuff with the lights and smoke, and and then you know, and it's like some of the some of the effects now date, but. Uh, I think more than the effects, what really sells it is, is performance and writing. Um, obviously, this is the movie where there's a lot of conjecture about how much of this Toby Hooper actually uh, directed and how much Spielberg did. Uh, I don't know. I'm no expert, but I mean, Spielberg had a very heavy hand in all these films he produced around this era Gremlins, Goonies, Back to the Future. So you see his hand in all of this there's really one or two scenes where I think I mean you really see a Spielbergian style take over but I mean that's just like any large movie where you know George Lucas shot shot units on Raiders of the Lost Ark I mean on a big enough film the director doesn't shoot most directors don't shoot everything there's usually a lot of second units so I don't know and and honestly, now at this point down the road, none of those questions seems to matter to me. It just seems uh, like post analytical. Uh, the important thing is that this movie exists, and and it's so much better than any you know <laughs> latter day. I mean, some of the sequels are fun, but latter day uh, uh, remakes, especially, that seem kind of pointless. I don't know why you remake this movie of all things. It's f it, it's just flawless. So. There you go. Uh, that's your October country for tonight. I hope you guys are feeling better than I am, and I hope to feel a little bit better soon so that my voice sounds a little better in future episodes. So there you go. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.